Ah, finally. I was wondering when you'd get here. Thank you for escorting them, Professor. That will be all. Come in, Apprentice. Time is of the essence. You skipped my assembly today. All students were required to attend. What is the reason for your absence? Oh. Did you think I wouldn't notice you weren't there? It is my job to keep track of my students, especially the ones who think they're too good to come to class. Now I'll ask again. Where were you? No response. Hm. Very well. Perhaps you can answer this instead. Since you missed class this evening, you may or may not be aware that we have a special guest. He's over there, sedated and bound by my spells. Does he look familiar? No. <sighs> Do you think it wise to lie to your archmage? How dare you insult my intelligence? You're in hot water, apprentice. Don't make it worse. I know that you two are acquainted. I caught him after he made a feeble attempt to invade my dreams. As you can see, it didn't work out in the way he intended. In all my years, I've never had a student send an incubus to me. This could be considered attempted murder. You do understand that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. You claim that you had no idea he was killing anybody, and that he came for me on his own accord. Why should I believe a single word you say? For all I know, the demon could be manipulating you as we speak. He may be unconscious at the moment, but I dare not underestimate his abilities. I do not know enough about him, which is why I brought you here. You started this. I know you did. And thanks to your foolishness, three of my best apprentices are dead. Don't think I didn't notice that the victims are all students who bullied you. Your motive is perfectly clear. I know far more than you think I know. I understand your predicament. I do. He is forcing your hand. It's either their lives or yours. You've bound yourself to him on accident, haven't you? This is why such rituals should not be performed without an expert, or ever, for that matter. One miscalculation will give the demon the upper hand. You've really gotten yourself into a mess. And now, it affects the safety of my students and my faculty. I am going to free you from your bonds with him. He may have told you it's impossible to sever them, but this is a lie. When I break the curse he put on you, it will weaken him immensely. Naturally, he'd be a fool to give you such insight. Once I've finished here, consider yourself expelled. Effective immediately. You will pack your things and leave the castle grounds at once. Don't you dare protest. Consider yourself lucky I don't turn you into the authorities. You have no idea of the damage you've done, not only to your fellow students, but to the reputation of this college. I cannot allow you to remain here, nor do I wish to mentor someone who would act so reckless. Now hold still. 
This will only take a moment. You won't feel a thing. Hmm? Uh, there's something wrong. It's not working. Wait a minute. This magic. Ugh, oh, what have you done? This. This is permanent. The demon speaks the truth. Huh. How ironic. It seems we have been underestimating him. Severely. Huh. I can still help you. But this has just become far more complicated. Tell me. Exactly which ritual did you use? Are you serious? Why would you... With a demon of all things? I understand that you youths feel alone in the world and will go great lengths to find a companion. But this... This is madness! You really don't get it, do you? You performed a binding ritual. Your souls are now intertwined. One cannot exist without the other. This is powerful magic. Extremely difficult to get right at that. I can't believe you pulled it off. Now I'm led to believe that the demon didn't want this either. And you've created just as much of a mess for him as he has for you. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some research. In the meantime, I need to figure out what to do with you. I can't expel you yet, but I can give you some much needed discipline. At ease, apprentice. I don't believe in excessive punishment. I'm not going to harm you. You've been through enough. I feel a balanced approach would be best for you. My goal is to educate and guide you towards responsible, arcane practices, while also safeguarding you and your fellow students from similar incidents in the future. I'll be assigning you some additional coursework. You're going to aid me with my research. If you do a good job, perhaps I'll let you stay here. It is my hopes that you will gain a better understanding of the risks and consequences of summoning infernal entities. I need to ensure you realize the potential harm and repercussions of your actions. Oh, that's not all. To make amends and contribute positively to this college, I am also tasking you with community service. You will be assisting me with casting protective spells and wards around the castle. It will be up to you to maintain them while I figure out how to free you. Know that I'll be watching you very closely. You can expect regular check-ins from me. Progress assessments will be implemented to track your behavior and ensure you are learning from your mistakes. Oh, and your attendance from here had better be perfect. No more excuses. I don't appreciate your attitude. This is the very least you can do after all the suffering you've caused. And with that... I shall issue a final warning. If you step another toe out of line, it will inevitably lead to more severe disciplinary actions. Ones that will go far beyond my control. I do not want to get the law involved. However, if you continue to engage in these irresponsible magical practices, I will have no choice but to turn you in. Do you understand? 
Good. I don't like confronting my students this way. Especially my prodigies. You are one of my best. You know that, right? I mean it. You have a lot of untapped potential. I am not going to let it go to waste. Hey, don't worry. You're going to be okay. The demon is contained. No harm will come to you or the others as long as I'm around. We will figure this out together. I promise. And who knows? We might make some interesting discoveries along the way. Now, off to bed with you. Straight to your room. If you take any detours, I will know. Good night, apprentice. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. You are dismissed. Ugh. <sighs>